Well, I tell you what, we've been entertained in the sprint finals already. We've uh, we've been fantastically entertained. Uh, but what I want to discuss just in this next uh, part of the show, which is interesting, is the domination in the in the sprint events of black athletes, and we have, which is fantastic, because we've seen, you know, we're seeing the greatest talent on earth. But the question is, you know, where are the white sprinters? So sort of, where are they? <laughs> Can white can can white men and women run fast? They cannot. Valerie Valerie Bortsov. I know it's. I mean, we've discussed this before, and Tony starts giggling and laughing. I said, but it's a fact of life. It's fact. Every you know every finalist in the women's one hundred meter was a black athlete, as in the two hundred. Apart from tonight, we've got um, what's his name, Christophe Christian Lemaitre, Lemaitre yeah. who is the only man to have gone under the 10 second barrier in the 100 meter sprint back in 2010. Now, as a coach, <laughs> I'm asking you, Tony, do you get young athletes, young white athletes who turn up who are good young sprinters? Well, we have good young sprinters. Um, we've got a young boy right now who's very, very good young sprinter at the moment and, and he's white, so. <laughs> but what, hap what happens then, you know? Wh why is there not that sort of development then? Where, where do they go? Where do well, they go missing? I think sometimes, because um, we, you know, we, uh, they might put a little bit too much pressure on them because they're, they're looking for this white star to come for and they might put a bit too much pressure. But we have, there are good athletes out there. But I just think maybe as a black athlete and um, as a role model, I used to look up to somebody like Daley Thompson and um, and he inspired me. And I, and I thought, wow, if he can do that. And I used to, Don Corey, a sprinter, and I thought, wow, if he, these guys are great role models. And we looked up to them. So when I trained, I thought I want to be like this role model. So we, as black sprinters, we had a lot of good role models to to channel our minds to. Where <laughs> the white people haven't got many. You know, Alan Wells was the only one. So it may be that, or maybe just with genetics. Yeah, well, maybe it is just it is genetics. But you know, I, I'm not take away Alan Wells's gold medal, but of course <laughs> it was the Moscow Olympics. It was the boycott Olympics. So you didn't have America. You didn't have. So well, they did beat them all a couple of weeks later. The, mm. That's true. That's true. Fair comment. Fair <laughs> comment. Well said from a man who was minus seven, seven in 1980, <laughs> which, which has already upset me. <laughs> but I'm getting over it. Tony and I are like old men here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Alan Wells, you know, 1980. That's the one. I, I, that's who I remember. Mm. So maybe it is just that, down to genetics, and you know. But but looking at the hurdles, Lawrence Clark now. Uh, have you had anything to do with his development or seen him in, in his... No, no, no. Lawrence Clark, he's, he's been coached by one of the British best coaches. Uh, Mark Amano used to train Colin Jackson. Yes. So he's a great technician. Um, but, you know, he's got two great athletes. Um, Andrew Pozzi. Andrew Pozzi is another one of them, but he hurt his hamstring. And he, he was... Um, if he didn't hurt his hamstring, I think we could have got two people into that final. Yeah. yeah they're both very good, great hurdlers. But it's, it, was, you know, it was tremendous for him to get, you know, he, he got fourth, which is just slightly outside. But again, he experienced his gain mm. at, such a, at such a young age. That is hugely promising. And you think, eh, won't be far around the corner where the medals start coming. Yeah, but back to, why, you look at the sprinters and as we say, they're, they're, they're all black in, in the 100 metres and 200 metres. Mm. But when you go up the distances, that's, it's, more, it's more mixed. Yeah, so, it is. Well, yeah, when you get yeah, to the so 400 you know, and then 400 hurdles. I mean, uh, I mean, Britain. We had we had uh, Di Green in the mm -hmm. uh, in the 400 meters. Uh, if you go back to Coenova uh, in the middle uh, distance, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. middle distance. And why 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 is there that difference? I, I, I don't quite understand where that comes from. Because one of the main main things for me when I, when I started off, I didn't want to be a hurdler. I wanted to be a sprinter. So you know, and that's the most global. You know, that's what everybody wants to see, the fastest man in the world. You, know, you just want to, is that you're chasing the blue ribbon event? You want, I don't want to do hurdles, yeah, no, I just want to be the fastest man on the planet. I